Hey guys, my name is Ben Hartley and welcome to episode 19 of the Six Figure Photography Podcast. We are recording live here at the Fundy Studio. More on that in just a little bit. Before we get rolling, I want to remind you guys what we're all about. All right? Abundance <clears throat> comes from understanding your own self-worth and providing value to everyone you encounter. Six Figure Photography exists to inspire, empower, and challenge you, challenge you as a photographer out there listening, towards creating this life of abundance. Now. As I'm talking about the, this uh, yes in profits, right? I want you guys to be able to, to make more money, to, to have a sustainable business, to be able to keep providing value to your clients out there. And yet at the same time, uh, abundance not just in profits, but in creativity, relationships, and confidence. So welcome to Six Figure Photography. Like I said, uh, <laughs> this is exciting for me because Dude, I've been talking about you since like day one of the SFP. That. <laughs> day one of the SFP podcast. You guys, if you've been a long-term listener, uh, you've heard me talk about Fundy like nonstop. And I hope good stuff. All really good Mostly. things. Yeah. <laughs> and this is great because a lot of times, you know, some of the guests are for the I'm meeting them for the first time on the podcast. Some of them aren't even uh, industry experts. They're out doing their own thing mm -hmm. uh, in in other parts of of other industries. Um, so it's really like just super comfortable for me to be able to sitting down with a friend and, uh, and talking about exciting things. So for starters, we're here in Portland, right? There's exciting things happening. Uh, catch us up. Uh, on Portland or uh, the business no, or everything? I guess why I'm here. I mean, V7, yeah. there's, you guys yeah, are making so things happen. We're, we're really excited. So V7's coming out, uh, next Tuesday or actually this Tuesday. So this will go live on Wednesday. Yeah. So it came out yesterday. <laughs> Isn't that weird talking yeah. about that? Yeah. And uh, we've put like uh, everything that we could in it to make uh, storytelling easier with album design. So as, as you know, I have a literature degree, my heart is in storytelling and, and telling stories and where we try to add value is be able to take those abstract concepts and put them into concrete ones and zeros and make it function in the program. So really excited about that. We have auto design. You can storyboard out your entire album before you hit the button, auto design, and then it just does what you want it to do. Yeah, that's awesome. We're gonna talk more about V7 in a little bit, yeah. but like one of the things that I'm always talking about on the show is that if I'm gonna have a guest on, if there's gonna be a sponsor, if there's gonna be a, uh, uh, a product that I'm going to use, I not only have to like believe in the product that it's going to help uh, better my business and also better my clients, um, but I also have to believe in the people. And you're out there actually like, like you're walking the walk, right? We try. One, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things that I really respond to though is you have a, like this, this personal mission of, of, of valuing print, yeah. of having other people understand the importance of print and not, when I say other people, I don't even just mean like other clients, but just like the, like the world, like talk a little bit about yeah. what your own personal goal is in regards to print. So I think, uh, it kind of started when I was shooting weddings. I always made albums inclusive in the packages. There's never an option. You always get an album. Yeah. And, uh, I think that really started, I really started to understand that when I had kids. And so one of the things that we do as a family is we make a family album every year. Mm -hmm. You know, um, later I'll show you some of my old family albums when <laughs> digital was new. Oh, there's, oh, it got fancy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was really fancy. There were sloppy borders. There was the dropping of the shadows. <laughs> the dropping of the shadows. <laughs> Anytime uh, one of our designers will like push over a design to us and there's like a drop shadow on it, I'm like, you, why did you bastardize this thing? <laughs> anyway, sorry. So, uh, but it kind of came through that and realizing that um, the permanence of print. And so we're making these, these family albums for our kids. And then, you know, when they're adults or when they have kids, these albums, the printing these days, I mean, if you take a professionally printed album and you close the book and put it on a shelf, uh, the scientific, the science, they do all that, like aging of the print, it starts fading in 300 years. Wow. That's when it, that's when it starts fading, right? Yeah. So you're pretty good. Yeah. You're good, right? 300 years. So uh, that permanence really kicked something in me that it just inspired me, the fact of how important print is and then at that same time, uh, I was, I had photos on a zip drive mm -hmm. 
Remember the zip disks? I actually like. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I do. I have one over here. I'll show you. It, it looked like a giant floppy disk, and they would okay. hold a hundred megabytes. Yeah, <laughs> right? which was huge because floppies were one point four megabytes. Yeah, right. So it's huge. Like, yeah, I'm all in. And so those were the default way to save stuff in '98 when I got married, and then by the time my second child was born, three years later they were gone, yeah. like you couldn't find them. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, okay, this isn't good. And then as the kids get older, we saved everything on CDs and DVDs and stuff. And then five years later, you can't read those because the CDs that you write on your own computers are organic material and they degrade, yeah. they just fall apart. So uh, the, the impermanence of digital and the permanence of print, and then just the legacy of how cool it is to be able to you know, I have photos of my mom and dad on their wedding day that they took with a little Instamatic, little square Kodak, and you know, it's just cool. Yeah, even as you say that, like, there's things that I have to remind myself, because I think about USB, that you know, for the longest time, photographers out there, you buy custom USB drives, this has been a really popular thing, but I was literally, um, before we came to Portland, stopped in Seattle, uh, went to the Apple store, and you know, they're talking about like eliminating USB. Like Apple's mo gonna be moving USB out uh, yeah. of, of rotation. And <laughs> yeah. you guys understanding about Apple, like what they do becomes what the happens. Standard. It yeah. becomes the standard. Yeah. So, so now we're talking about uh, no more USB. The uh, CDs are already gone. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, you know, even when we start to think in our minds, well, yeah, but I've got it on the cloud. I've got mm -hmm. it online, right? Yeah. Uh, I've always thought that. But actually, um, so prior yeah, to speaking, even speaking speaking of online, so Kodak had uh, this service called O Photo, okay, right? It's basically like Shutterfly or any of those services, yeah, right. Uh, they that's that's where I uploaded and sent all the pictures while we were living in Japan, so my mom could order pictures here. Yeah, a couple of years ago, they just went out of business and they just closed shop, and they basically said you have three months to download your stuff, and then it's gone. Yeah, and nobody saw that email because it went into your spam folder and it, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, so the cloud is, you know, it it's gonna be gone. I totally agree, and yeah. so even with like, you know, there's a lot of these online hosting sites for uh, for photography. Um, in the past, I've used Pass, right? So in the past, I've used Pass, and now I no longer use Pass. Okay, and so actually, all of those events that I've gone and I've I've put up on Pass and I've archived. Yes, I technically I can go back in, but I feel like it's always like uh, it'll be like a year later, and I go back in and. Things are changed, but I know that one of these times is gonna come. I'm gonna go log back in and pass isn't gonna be there. This is gonna be gone. It's gonna be gone, you know? Yeah. And even now I'm on, on Pixie Set. I love Pixie Set, but I can't rely on Pixie Set to like be the sole source of like how I'm gonna preserve uh, these photographs. And actually, you know what too? Um, my wife, uh, Leslie, right? Um, she came to me yesterday and actually, you know, it was it really was yesterday. I, I, I had to think for a second. I'm like, am I just making that day up? You know, people are all the time in interviews yeah. like, yeah, just yeah, yesterday yeah. I was doing was this yesterday. thing. Like bullshit. No, you weren't. <laughs> so no, but literally yesterday, she's like, Ben, is like, uh, I'm a little concerned that all of some of my favorite memories, some of my favorite photographs, mm -hmm. are only stored on Facebook. I don't even know where these pictures are. Yeah. Is there a way for me to like? get like download them all facebook and like let's get them into print yeah i'm like I, i'll talk to fundy i don't know <laughs> yeah, there he is i'll tell you okay cool yeah. actually let, let's actually talk about that right now because this this is real i mean even uh let's see if i can find my wallet yeah yeah like i mean right now mm -hmm. this this is one of my favorite pictures this yeah. is a photograph of mm -hmm. of my uh of my wife holding my little girl yep and it's like Facebook yeah. can't do anything to this. P pass, Pixie Set, any of these things, like this is always mm -hmm. gonna be on me. Yep. Um, and I always get to look at it, she's so cute. Anyhow, um, so how would someone do that if they wanted to create more personal So prints? there's, uh, I forget, actually on our blog somewhere, if you go on our blog and you Google, or, or, and you hit the search button and you search for download Facebook photos or something like that, okay. there there's this app that you can install on your uh, it's a web app, so you can click install, and then you can you can download all of your yeah. Facebook photos and that's that on, you've uploaded. It's on the Fundy blog. It is on the Fundy okay. blog. I'm well, not exactly sure where it is. I'll find it and send we'll it get it in the show notes, guys. That way you can yep. find that link. So awesome. Um, but that's not a, a great option. So one of the things I I have is I have uh, I have a lot of printers. I have uh, a little printer that prints those little in, Instax prints, yep. which is great. I have a little Canon selfie. 
mm -hmm. printer. And what's great about that, the prints aren't super awesome. They're pretty good. It's just a nice glossy print. Uh, but it's about this big, it's like 100 bucks, but you can connect it to your Wi-Fi and you can have an app on your phone. And so anytime you take a picture with your phone that you like, you just open the app, click print, done, it prints. Really? Yeah. Right? I want that. Yeah. Yeah. That's all going to be show notes. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want that. Yeah. If anyone's listening out there and they really like me, I've given yeah. you some bit of value, send, send that over. I'll put my address in the show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's 100 bucks. You can get it. I got that. You I got, got it. That. Yeah. So, uh, but that's, uh, I think... That's one of the things that's really interesting is once you start printing in again, it's addictive and you just yeah. want to print all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, it's obviously love it if you do use version seven for this, but just go through your photos and whatever it is, your family photos and tag them, put them in a folder and just design a family album once a year yeah. and get it in print, get it in a book. Um, I just designed our last year's family album it has like 180 photos, 200 photos, 120 pages. Uh, sent it off to Ken at Renaissance, put in a Bowery book. Yes, yeah. it might arrive today. Yeah, it might arrive today. We'll see. So let's talk about that for a quick yeah. minute, because even as we're we're discussing print, I want to talk about print in two ways. One is we're yeah. currently talking about it in, in regards to our personal life, understanding our own mm -hmm. value and how we see it. Yeah. I also want to talk about print in regards to the context of our clients. Mm -hmm. um, but let's hang on this personal aspect for a yeah. minute, because even as you say that, right? As you say you want to encourage us to create personal family albums, create mm -hmm. more prints for ourselves. Yep. As you say that, I think to myself, like, dude, you, you that album was 180 pictures. Yeah. I have 180 pictures that I took yesterday, right? Yeah. So, so okay. What, so what this, tips do you have? Well, this is the, the, the most important button on your phone or your computer is the delete button. Hmm. So whether it's family, whether it's personal work, even when I shoot a wedding once every two years, usually by force. Like someone's like begs me, I'm like, oh, come on, man. If you want to see okay. your kids again, you'll shoot my wedding. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but just delete Cole ruthlessly, right? If you take yeah. 10 pictures, keep one and print it. Yeah. Because the, I think that while digital disappearing is scary and we lose our prints with the hard drives fail and stuff, that's actually not the, worst thing about digital. The worst thing about digital is that we drowned in the abundance. Yes. We have so many photos that we never look back at them mm -hmm. because it's, it's just too daunting. Yeah. We just can't do it. Yeah. So, you know, right after the event, right after you take pictures, whether it's your kid's birthday party, delete, 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 yeah. right? How many pictures, like we love our kids, sure. but when they turn five, how many pictures do you need of that birthday party? You need like 10. Yeah. Right. Pick the 10 best ones and delete the rest. Yeah. Or at least, e even if you cannot let go, at least take them and put them in a subfolder called deletes or duds or something like <laughs> yeah. that. So, so at least you have that parent folder with, hey, I only want this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, delete, delete and choose. So that's, that's one of the things that's really important, both for us and our clients and, and, and showing value in photography is, is really choosing what you want to keep and what you, what you want to have printed. Mm -hmm. And that, that just that, act of choosing gives value to our photography. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, great advice. Okay, so I wanna transition now and talk more about our clients because mm -hmm. I get emails like literally every day that say something along the lines of, yeah, 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 Ben, that's great that you have a client base mm -hmm. that values print. Look, yep. all of my clients, all they want is digital. Mm -hmm. And if I don't provide the, the high-res digital files, if mm -hmm. I don't provide that USB stick or online gallery, yep. they're gonna go hire somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. I'm always addressing that question. Yep. So how, I wanna hear from you, uh, Fundy, how would you address um, this thought of, of getting your clients to also value and appreciate mm -hmm. Um, prints and maybe actually we need to even step back yeah. and get the, the photographers to understand mm -hmm. that they, they, they yeah. value it. Yeah. So, and that's why, that's why I'm starting with, with the personal aspect, yeah. because if you as a photographer are not printing your own family stuff, mm -hmm. then you, when you're sitting down talking with your clients, you, you come across as inauthentic. Yes. Right. You have to be authentic. You, you have to believe in your heart of hearts the, the power of print. And if you don't, then it's very difficult to communicate mm -hmm. to your clients. So that's the step one, is just start printing for yourself and really, and, and once you start, you're gonna be hooked. Yeah. Uh, and then the next step 
And this is one of the things that I really see a lot of photographers fail at in their marketing is it's not about posting a pretty picture to Facebook. It's about posting a pretty picture of the really expensive album that your clients just purchased. Yeah. Right. So clients will want what you show them. Mm -hmm. So start showing them albums, start showing them wall art. Right. So if you, uh, whether they actually purchase it or you're doing it as a mock-up, right? Show that collage of five photos giant above the sofa that you designed for your client or that your client purchased because that's what people will want. So you have to show them what you are willing to offer. And it'll also, in this day and age, it'll differentiate you from the cheaper shoot and burns, right? Yep. Because they come to you and like, wow, I saw that really awesome album or I saw this. I'm like, yes, that's what makes me unique yeah. is that I pr produce these pieces of artwork for you and, and your kids and grandkids. Yeah. Right. And then, and then that's how you move. And you know, it's not easy. It's a process. It's going to take, it's going to take a year, right? If you start today by next year, you'll be ready to be a product only photographer. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you don't start now, you know, if you start next month, it's a year and a month. If you start two months from now, it's a year and two yeah. months. Like it's not, not an easy process. And, but then one of the things that you can do is that, you know, if people want the digital files, then using things as you transition out of that, using things like, yeah, the, the files are free and I deliver them with your album. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, I deliver them with your album. Yeah. Well, I don't want an album. Well, you're going to get an album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and like uh, in, in uh, Ben Christman's Storyteller video, he's like, I don't care what you do with it, you can throw it away, you yeah. can give it to a homeless person, yeah. but you're getting this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what we do is, um, like in order to get, uh, like, and I, I'm like so honest with my clients, I'm like, yeah. look, I, I'm gonna reward you for good like behavior. Like <laughs> if, you, if you put something in print, if you make it real, if you make yeah. it tangible, yeah. then Congratulations! I'm going to give you that digital file with it. Yeah, that's how you get a digital file. Yeah. is you make it real. Yeah, and go and I love to like kind of belittle the digital file. I'm like, go make a mouse pad or like a coffee mug with it if you want. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. And um, and they resonate and, with it. Yeah, and then also to back up with um, talking about like the fancy USB drives. Yeah. So I'm a my personal opinion is uh, that's the worst thing you can do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. So the best thing you can do with digital files is 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 whatever is the ugliest way yes. to send a link to your clients yes. where they can download the files, the better. Yeah, yeah. Like the ugliest way. Yeah. Like if it's if it's just like hi and like a blue link and then <laughs> thanks Ben. Yeah. That's the best. Yeah. Because it it devalues the digital file. The more value we put in the digital file, the more valuable they think the digital files are. Hence, the less value the print is. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And I realized that like labs, like I say that and the labs hate me or the album, you know, whoever's producing, they'll like send me a private message. Why did you say that? We're trying to sell this. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but that's what I believe. <laughs> but I tell everybody to go print their stuff through you. Yeah. <laughs> print albums. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I want to go back because you said mm -hmm. something that I don't want to breeze past. Okay. Uh, and I think it's, it is, it, it is the foundational step. It's one of the most essential steps. It's actually like people's BS meter, you guys, it's, it, I mean, especially now with like Google and everything oh, yeah, else, like yeah. we're uh, anymore in 2016, like we just like instantly know and you're like shenanigans, bull, you don't yeah, actually care about this. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think we, uh, we can underscore and highlight and bold the fact that like, um, your your passion will convey value when you are yeah. passionate about print like when clients hear me talk about the prints that i have of my girl in my house oh, yeah. when they see the prints of uh the the albums from the past weddings mm -hmm. like um when you're able to actually educate uh your your couples on it man that passion just completely yeah. like it conveys so much value so you have to believe it yeah you 100 percent have to believe it and you gotta walk the walk mm -hmm. you know? and if if you can, one of the great things to do is, is go find uh, your parents' wedding pictures and your grandparents' wedding pictures, and then you get it. You're like, yeah. oh, yeah. Okay? because you know, then you're like, oh, if I don't print stuff now, then people down the road aren't going to see it. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that I love to do is um, from, from day one, right, when they come in for a pre-consultation, they haven't even hired us. Everything 
uh, everything about that experience is is revolved around the physical. It's revolved around mm-hmm. print. And I'm not just talking about like yes, there's there's well art. Yes, there are sample albums. Mm-hmm. But rather than um, pulling up your contract and showing it on a computer oh, yeah. or on a TV mm-hmm. or on a projector, I don't care. Yeah. Like physically hand them yeah. over the paper and ink, right? Um, even when, when a client leaves, whether they've hired us or they haven't, they walk out of there with a physical print of themselves, mm-hmm. right? And and we just, we take a picture, it's just, it's uh, one of the little, little bowl, right, things. Yeah, it's a little yeah. Fuji something or another. Yeah. And, and it's so disarming because it's not like, you're not doing like this big lighting setup with like yeah. a, you know, some 5DS. It's just this nice little cute thing. It doesn't matter if they're in their work clothes. Yeah. And they, you guys, they light up. Yeah. They light up when they get to hand this, and we get to, and, and it's so fun because by the end, that's at the very end of the meeting, right? And by that time, you just could say like, yeah. "See, I told you, I told you, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, like, and You're like, oh, you, it's it's incredible. We've had we've had couples who meet with us, mm-hmm. and they go and meet with you know another photographer, and they come back and they say, "We want to go with you because." Because you didn't just try to give us a digital files. You cared enough. Yep. You you actually wanted to preserve our memories in a real way. And for that, I don't care if it's a thousand dollars more, two thousand, who cares? Yep. We want to work with you. That just I mean, that's really that's that's saying something, you yeah. know? Yeah, I mean people will pay for that extra service, that extra caring, right? Yeah. That extra belief. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, be- before we move on, so I know that you were able to attend part of the talk at WPPI. Did you see the part where I talked about the neuroscience behind print and physical? So I had a chance to see a little bit, but our yeah. audience didn't, so, so I want so you to explain it. one of the things that uh, with print, I I wanted to know is, is there actual science behind the fact, is, is print actually better than digital yeah. in any way? Uh, and Bonus prize for us is that the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. Then like, no, then I'd be like, oh crap. Yeah, we're not just so, making it up. <laughs> so, uh, and and it's not just with uh, photo prints, but it's it's you know printed newspapers, printed textbooks versus digital yeah. and everything. Yeah. So, uh, one of the studies I read, you know, when they stick people up to the, you know, they put the things on their head mm-hmm. and see how their brains light light up. And so, when you're viewing a, a physical printed version of something versus a digital version, your, your brain lights up more, Yeah. right? And what's really interesting is the parts of your brain that light up more. Mm. So the part of your brain that deals with emotion okay. just pff, lights right. up. The part of your brain that deals with desire hmm. and value yeah. light up. So when we're giving people sample albums to touch or you're taking a picture and giving it to them, you're actually scientifically programming their brain to want what you're selling. Yeah. Which is awesome. It's really <laughs> right? awesome. So that's good stuff. That's right? So, uh, so this is really great. And so one of the things that I do with, uh, with wall art, right? You have sample stuff on the walls. Mm-hmm. When the client comes in, I pull it off the wall and hand it to them. Yeah. Yeah. And then I go, go grab something. Oh yeah, take a look at this. I gotta go get something. And they're, <laughs> they're sitting there holding this big canvas, right? Yeah. And yeah, it's magic. Cause then you, you want it. Yeah. Right. Uh, there was another uh, thing that's interesting about print um, versus like showing people sample albums versus showing like a portfolio on an iPad is mm-hmm. that people view printed objects much more slowly and with more intent than digital. Yeah. So if you hand somebody uh, an iPad with, a, with you know, 10 photos on it that they can swipe through, right? Versus you just hand them 10 eight by 10s Mm-hmm. They're going to view those pictures much, much longer, yeah. and they're also their their eyes are going to cover the entire area of the photo before they move on to the next one. Yeah, and they're much more likely to go back and view it again and again. Yeah, it's interesting. I feel like you know when we're viewing a screen, we're we're trained at this point really that if what's next? Yes, what's next? Like, and if it's true, like, and this is actually side note for your for your websites out there. If you have like a load time, if you're trying to play music or start these really high res slideshows on your website, and it takes more than a second to load your page, like people are gone. They're done. They're like they're they maybe click refresh once or like meh. Nah, Matt, there's something better out there. Yeah. They're out. Or they've scrolled all the way. Like, dude, this is what I do. I land on a page mm-hmm. and I like take it in in a tenth of a second and then it's zoop and I scroll to the bottom yep. of that page, right? And so we're trained to do that. Even if we're looking at a full a full screen mm-hmm. image, 
we're still looking at a screen and our mind's like, okay, what's next? What's, yeah, next? what's next? Yeah. 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 That's really yeah. interesting. And so with, with, I think what's happening when you view a print, our, our minds are trained from generations to be, instead of saying what's next, we say what's this, hmm. right? And then you want to look at it and hold it. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, one, of, one of the things, this is really good too, so when you're talking with your client, is that um, we're creating memories, right? The reason we want to put them in print is so that you can remember these stories and then you can pass them on to your kids and yeah. can pass them on to your kids. So there's this study done on digital textbooks. So universities are pushing digital textbook because they're cheap and yeah. you can sell them for the same price, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, they did the study and kids that study on paper versus digital have a 40% better retention. Wow. Right. And so if we translate that into albums and wall art, right, you're going to, re- there's a 40% greater chance that your kids are going to remember your wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that, you know, uh, I like six figure photography is about is, is, is abundance in confidence, right? And, and self-worth. Like that's where I think, you know, uh, if you have self-worth and you can provide value to people, that's where you're gonna find abundance. And so this ties back to, um, believing that you have something of value to offer, right? It's sometimes I feel like it's no wonder that there's photographers out there who are like, man, I just, I don't know, like is someone really gonna pay $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 for me? I just don't feel like I can, I can charge that. And, and then I, I take a look at what they're doing and it's no wonder that they don't believe that they have something of value because they are just like, man, eh, just take the digital files. They, I mean, they're really thinking of what they're doing as it's like, well, I'm just clicking a shutter and giving this file. It's not that, it's not that valuable. But when you actually start to realize mm-hmm. that you have something so incredibly powerful to give yeah. that is, that's, uh, that's reminding people on a daily basis of mm-hmm. who they love, why they love them. Uh, that is, it's improving memory, yeah. right? It's reducing memory loss. It's it's for a moment bring the dead to life. Mm-hmm. When you can give somebody that, oh yeah, like suddenly now I realize that what I'm doing has value and shit. It's bigger than myself, right? Mm-hmm. And now I'm starting to believe in what I'm doing, right? And, and you'll begin to feel like your, your confidence and your self-worth like swell. And now I don't have to question like, you know, four or $5,000. Like it's just an exchange. It just makes sense. Yeah. It's so, I mean, weddings and then family photography with, you know, families and kids are probably the, the two most important life events in somebody's life out there. Yeah. Like you're talking me the two, the top two. Yeah. You know, there's the, the next one is death, but that's not, you don't really want to document that. <laughs> We're going to start a new genre of death right. photography. Yeah, not awesome. <laughs> yeah. You know, but that's, those are the big three things in life is like kids, marriage, and death. Yeah. And, you know, focus on the kids and, and the marriage and that's it. Yeah. So you're literally giving the three most, the two most important things in people's lives to them so that they can remember them and, and their kids and grandkids and great grandkids can remember them. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. And it, as as you're talking about um, a way to differentiate yourselves, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I don't think we could even stress that enough too because as more and more photographers keep coming into the space, mm-hmm. we sit here and we wonder like, how am I gonna like, how am I gonna say, uh, you know, provide value in this business that everyone's just like out there shooting and they're mm-hmm. all doing this thing. And and really it's, it's providing a, a greater opportunity for you to actually leave a mark and actually yeah. do something different. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, you know, everyone at the wedding has their, you know, all the guests have cameras and they're all shooting, yeah. right? But what are they not doing? They're not giving them actual yeah. print. Yeah. And that's where you get to step in and provide that value. And I think the next step is once you start providing that print and the next step is once you've mastered photography as a craft, you become a master of telling the story, mm. right? And then you're shooting for the stories and then your album, the wall art, tell the story in almost a cinematic way, Yeah. right? Which an amateur can't do. Yes. So, you know, and many people that are professionals can't do even it's, 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 it's difficult. It's hard, mm-hmm. but that lets, that gives you another challenge as a professional to move on to that next level and start shooting for the story and delivering stories. And once you do that with, you know, you deliver, you deliver an album design that tells a story, you know, a, they're going to buy the whole album. Yeah. B, they're not going to take anything out because you, you told the whole story. Every single piece has meaning, has meaning. And it's so gratifying because they see the value that you you've brought them and so the only way that they can uh, 
recognize that value is to pay you for it. Yeah. And you don't feel, you don't feel like a dirty salesman. I mean, when people, eat, no. this is the other thing that I hear all the time from photographers, right? They're like, Ben, yeah, Ben, yeah, but I don't want to come across as like smarmy or I don't want to come, come across as like sleazy or salesy. And I, it's a great question I ask them. I go, look, are you, are you a sleazy person? Are you a salesy person who's just out there to like, you know, cheat and money grab and no, no. then you're not going to come across that exactly. Way, right. Yeah. If you actually give a rip, if you actually care about your clients yeah. and you want what's best for them, it's going to come across, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So V7, yes. we're, V7's hitting this uh, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, look, I can't say no things about funding. And I say this uh, not because you're sitting in front of me, <laughs> but for real though. But later I'll um, tell you the real story. <laughs> but for real though, like, um, Fundy has done so many things for our business. So one is it, it has, it actually has been one of the kind of like, um, igniting factors for us, like the kindling, mm -hmm. uh, that's really, um, gotten us on the right foot in regards to valuing print mm -hmm. and valuing it for ourselves and for our client. And it's done that because it's taken away the barrier to entry in producing albums, producing print, right? We've been trying to do albums for a long time in the past. Yeah. Um, and just these, the, we have a lot of clients, yeah. <laughs> we've got three photographers. And so um, just the sheer amount of, of time it would take. And so anyhow, that barrier is gone and now we're getting albums in every single client's hands. Uh, so I love it for that. Um, I love it for the time that it saves. But on top of it, again, you know, uh, we are talking about creating businesses that are sustainable, mm -hmm. that continue to allow us to give our clients feels and give them value. Um, and it, it, it undoubtedly helps with profits. And so for that, I say thank you yeah, because it's been great, yeah. right? It's, it's really and, been great. And to back up what you said there, you know, I've been in the industry for quite a long time. I don't know any photographer that has been in business for 10 years or more that doesn't focus on selling product. Yeah. Right. So when, when you're young and new and you know, you might be the cool person in your area or, or your genre of photography. Uh, it's really easy to make a profit, right? Because you're commanding this, those high yeah. uh, entry points. But, you know, it's, it's just like entertainment industry. You, you, you're not popular forever, right? Yeah. So you have to create a solid business and a solid business plan for when the business grows and you have to create that engine of profit per client and it's all about the product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. All right. So all this being said, we've, yeah. we've dude, there's been so many fantastic nuggets. <laughs> this, has been, this has been a good episode, but I want to, I want action steps. Yeah. I believe in action steps. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I want to hear from you. What is, what is the one thing that our audience who's listening today should go and do once they, they arrive back home or to the office if mm -hmm. you're driving, um, when you get that hour lunch break, whatever it is, mm -hmm. what is the first thing that they should do, um, in order to begin to personally begin to value print better for themselves and for their clients? Can I give more than one? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first thing is go find some family prints that are important to you. Okay. Right. Second thing. And do what with them? Just grab them, put them on your desk, have them around, make them part of your life, you know, throw them on the coffee table, Okay. whatever, pull up, just make prints part of your life again. Uh, number two, print some recent stuff of personal stuff, just yeah. four by sixes, whatever, just print some stuff. Uh, and then from a business point of view, if you are not uh, currently offering albums and wallet to your clients, uh, download the trial. You can design an album in three or five minutes. Go design albums for your clients last year and send them a link to view the album and guarantee you a third of the clients will buy the album and you will make more money. Yeah. Right? So you're going to be... You can make thousands and thousands of dollars just by doing that. Yeah. Step one, go find prints uh, of your family, make them a part of your life, put them on your desk, put them out there, hang them up, experience them. Step two, print recent photos. Yep. I love that little, I'll put the link up to that uh, little app. You can just do it right from your phone. Step three, start offering uh, real uh, physical prints, albums to your clients through showing them just a proofer. Is that what you're saying? Showing them a yeah. proof of what you've designed? Exactly. Just design on spec. Yeah. and send it off to them and say, hey, if you want to order this, it's X number of dollars. Yeah. When you send them that link, make sure it looks real bad. <laughs> the yeah. Whole blue link. <laughs> yeah, 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 real bad. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So one of the rules is that clients will be satisfied with the first thing that they see. Okay. That, that's another thing too. Stop posting yeah. sneak peeks to social media and your blog. 
the first thing they see is the album design. Absolutely. Yep. Our clients see one picture before they get to see everything else. They get that one, that one photograph, and it's not even going to be the best photograph. Yeah. It's going to be one photograph. Yeah. Here's, the, here's the photo different. of your toe on the wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good one. Yeah. Someone needs a petty. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. All right, man, dude. Thanks so much for having thank me you, here. This has been fantastic, man. Um, you guys, thank you for listening. I just want to, again, I want to just uh, connect with you guys and say thank you. Thank you for all the support that you've uh, that you've given me, that you've given the companies that I believe in too. Um, if, if you guys weren't listening, if you guys weren't watching, I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, so I'm excited for you guys in 2016. Yeah. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Excited for you guys in 2016. It's going to be a great year, especially if you start uh, if you start doing print. Uh, if you want to know more, if you want to know more about the way that I do things, shoot me an email. I read every email that I get, and I'd love to connect with you guys. So, um, Fundy, thanks, awesome. man. Awesome. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys.